vs Bamboo Lab. Let's compare the best multicolor 3D printing system. Welcome! Today, as promised, we are here to compare the multicolor capabilities of the Prusa. After Hugo's video showing the assembly to you, it's time to compare it with Bamboo Lab's multicolor system. I need to explain a few rules I set up for this comparison. First, I'll compare the printers themselves competing against each other. What I mean is comparing how much time and material each one consumes when printing a single color piece versus multicolor one. This comparison will be made within the same system. So we'll see the difference in how the Prusa prints with solid color versus multicolor. We'll do the same with the Bamboo Lab printers. Then we'll compare these prints to see which printer is faster, more economical in a single color and how it performs in multicolor printing. The files I selected for this comparison were this mini articulated figure, which looks like an arc or a cyclops, and then I also printed an enlarged version. For the first print, we made six mini articulated figures, and then another one at 280% scale. Finally, for the last test, I wanted a piece that only had two colors, so we made just one color change across multiple print layers to see if this made a difference. The chosen piece was this crumpled can, which is a phone stand, since it only has the can's label color and the metallic top parts. Our comparison will be done piece by piece, and at the end, we'll do an overall comparison of the printers. Keep in mind that with Prusa, we only have the purge tower ways in the print. But notice that for both Prusa and Bamboo Lab, when printing a single color piece, all the infill doesn't include inner perimeters. This makes it more economical, but when printing something multicolor, even if there's no purge tower, there's still an increase in material because the solid colors inside the piece pass through inner perimeters. Let's move on to the comparison. With the articulated mini pieces, we managed to fit six on the bed for the Bamboo Lab and I placed the same number on the Prusa bed. We wanted to compare the same file. If it were single color, the mini articulated figure, whether an arc or cyclops, would take seven hours to print on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. The total material consumption for this print would be 98 grams, while the color version would take 24 hours to print using 328 grams. So the material consumption was three times higher and the print time more than three times longer. You could print three of the same setup on the Bamboo Lab. That'd be 21 hours using single color mode. For the Prusa, printing six articulated pieces in single color mode would take 9.5 hours. So the Bamboo Lab is naturally faster. But look at the multicolor prints. It took 17 hours to print, so the time nearly doubled. Not exactly doubled, but it came close. 180% of the time to print in color. The material consumption for the Prusa was almost the same at 99 grams in single color, while the color version used 156 grams. So we are talking about 50 extra grams spent on the purge tower. So comparing the Prusa single color versus its multicolor mode, we had a 50% increase in material consumption, meaning 74% of the material was printed compared to the single color version. Stop this video, stop for a while. This week we are launching STL Flix's most audacious and ambitious project, which is powered by artificial intelligence. And I want you to be on a live stream where we are going to be presenting this amazing new tool. Hope to see you there. There's a link you can click to enter this live stream and also have a chance to get a 3D printer as a giveaway. All right, I'll see you there. Now let's talk about the enlarged version of the Cyclops or ARC. Printed at 280%. In single color mode, it took 12 hours to print on the Prusa with 169 grams of material used. In the multicolor version, it took 32 hours with 327 grams of filament. So again, nearly double the time and nearly double the material consumption compared to the single color mode. Finally, let's look at the A1 Mini for the 280% version. This was the most surprising test because of the huge discrepancy. In single color mode, it took 7.5 hours and used 166 grams of filament. But in the color version, it took 51 
hours and use 818 grams of filament file and purge tower so we are talking about nearly seven times more time and five times more filament used oh my gosh just comparing a1 prints. I haven't even compared Prusa versus Bamboo Lab yet. If we compare a single color piece, it would take even more time and use more material. But this comparison isn't that. However, even looking at the data, it's amazing how much room there is for improvement in multicolor technologies. Let's finish with the last file, the crumpled can. For the single color version on the Prusa, it would take four hours to print the phone stand using 64 grams of filament. For the color version, I expected it to take less time, but it didn't help much because the file has a lot of color changes. So we ended up doubling the print time. We went up to 10 hours to print the color can on the Prusa and the material consumption was 118 grams. So we saw over two and a half times more time and almost double the filament usage for the purge tower and the piece. Now let's look at the A1 Mini printing the can in single color mode. It would take 2 hours and 40 minutes to print, with an estimated filament usage of 62 grams, while the color version it took 19 hours to print and used 247 grams of filament. So compared to the Bamboo Labs single color estimate, we spent 7 times more time and almost 4 times more material in the color version compared to the single color one. So far in this comparison, if you like the pieces I presented and the rules I've set for this battle, let me know in the comments. Do you agree with the comparison? Is there another test you think we should do? Or do you want me to compare something that wasn't covered in this video? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like because now we are going to compare the printers against each other. As you've probably noticed, Bamboo Lab has one advantage in single color mode. So I'll break down piece by piece how much faster each one is. For the Mini Arc, Bamboo Lab has an even greater advantage in single color mode, being 25% faster. But in the color version, Prusa takes a 27 advantage over Bamboo Lab. So in color prints, Prusa saves almost quarter of the time compared to Bamboo Lab. For the enlarged arc, there's a slight change in stats. Bamboo Lab shows a 37% advantage over Prusa in color mode, but Prusa flips the game in the color print, where it's 39% faster than Bamboo Lab. So imagine this, if we look at the 51 hours for Bamboo Lab's print, which is a 20 hour difference. Think about how many things could be printed in those extra 20 hours. I'm saying in percentage, so we have in mind the difference on the efficiency of each one. But in reality, if you take the huge arc for instance, 20 hours is a huge difference. The same phenomenon is seen in the can. I expected a large difference in single color mode, but it wasn't as significant. This print in single color mode was 30% faster on Bamboo Lab. However, in the color version, Prusa printed the can in 44% less time. Again, we are only talking about printing time here. So the MMU system you saw it in Hugo's assembly video has several aspects to adjust. There's a price, but when it comes to time efficiency, it's a massive difference. Even though Prusa isn't faster than Bamboo, we proved in this comparison that when printing single color, Bamboo Lab does win with at least 20% more speed efficiency. However, when it comes to color changes, their system has a lot of room to evolve. This is where Prusa takes the lead. It might not print faster in general, but it wins in the long run because of the faster layer changes and not needing a purge system, only a purge tower, purge everywhere. This saves a lot of time, but that's not the only parameter we are comparing. After all, purging between color changes on Bamboo Lab uses more filament, and that costs you. For example, we spent less than half to print the mini arcs, so the material consumption was 250% more for the enlarged arc and 209% more for the can on the A1 Mini. This is because the purging process increases material usage a lot. I did the last comparison, which turned out to be the least relevant of all. 
which is why I left it as an observation in the video. Whether colored pieces are heavier on different slicers, excluding the purge and tower, in fact, the difference was minimal. For instance, the mini arcs were 105 grams on Prusa and 110 grams on Bamboo Lab. The giant arc was 187 grams on Prusa and 200 grams on Bamboo Lab. The can was 80 grams on both printers. The slicer's logic for generating the perimeters and the files seemed identical. We didn't have much weight difference. The only real weight difference was with the arcs, which could also be due to slicer settings, extrusion width, and other factors. The real difference in material consumption comes from the purges and the towers. So my conclusion in this video, Prusa system has proven to be mathematically more efficient in terms of both time and material. We spend less filament, we print faster in color, while Bamboo Lab delivers a better experience overall. If you missed the video where Hugo talked about how the assembly process was a bit tricky and not for everyone, check that out. Bamboo Lab offers a plug and play printer. You take it out of the box, plug in and start printing. I think now it's time for us to explore alternatives to make bamboo printers more economical since they are more accessible and already available in the Brazilian market. So leave in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this comparison with all the data, time and weight tracking. If there's a test you think we missed, leave a comment and I'll include it in the next printer duo. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!